I saw it was like three dudes on my porch with hoodies. That should have been the red flag right there. I peeked in there just to see. All I see is some dude just climbing in. He yelling at me. I just started crying. And that's when I seen the 18 year old with the shotgun walking to my house. I literally thought I was going to die that day. I'm not faking. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Yeah, yeah, we back. I'm gonna try to create like a little intro or saying or something to where, you know, I can say something every time when I enter the video, whatever. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's gonna sound raw though. It's not gonna sound corny like these other people though. Like it's gonna sound raw like. As you can see by the title, I know, right? It's wild, it's crazy, right? It's actually two story times because they both kind of short. One of them is when somebody broke in my house and then the other one, it wasn't really like a break in type. It was kind of like people like, they came to the wrong house. They thought that my house had somebody they was looking for, but it wasn't, they just chose the wrong house. Uh, enough rambling, let's get, let's get straight into it though. We gonna start with the first one where somebody broke in my house and they actually got in and everything while I was there. All I know, I can't really remember the year or anything. I know I was really little. I had to been at least like seven or eight years old. I know I was a 10. I was like, I had to be like at least seven or eight years old. I know it took place Christmas time. It was the day after Christmas. My mom had went to work and I'm just at home by myself, chilling, doing what seven, eight year old kids do, you know, playing with all my toys. And plus it's the day after Christmas. So I'm playing with all my new toys and all the stuff that I got, bro. It was over with. I was having a freaking blast with my little with my little Christmas pajamas on. Like I thought I was, yeah, like I was really having fun. And I was really doing the thing. I was living like my kid life. So I'm just playing. I think I was playing. I had got my Wii U, dude. That's what it was. I got a freaking Wii U and it was over with for Christmas. And I was just on that boy. I was playing like what Super Mario Bros on there, whatever it was. I know I was playing some type of Mario game on there. I was watching YouTube on there. I done found out how to watch YouTube on there and everything. I'm watching it on the TV. I'm just having fun, right? And then all of a sudden, I get a knock on my door, right? And you know, if you lived in a black household, we all grew up on, if you hear somebody knock on the door, don't answer it unless it's me. You know? So that's what I was doing. I was doing that. So I just act like nobody was home. I paused the video because I had it mad loud. Key pointer key pointer i had the tv up mad loud i had it on like 60 don't ask why i had it on 60 but i did i had it like on 60 65 watching a youtube video bro i'm not faking so it, it was fried in itself so i heard the knock though because it was pretty loud and i heard like it was like multiple people on my porch so I paused the video and I act like, you know, nobody was home. But I did look out the window and I looked, I'm like, why is it? I saw it was like three dudes on my porch with hoodies. That should have been the red flag right there. I ain't gonna lie. That should have been the red flag. But you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm little seven, eight year old me. It's just like, you know what? If I just act like I'm not home, they won't know. Like, they'll go away. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Like, girl, they, they trying to break in your freaking house. That's what it is. Three dudes that look like they like 18, 19, 20 years old on your porch with hoodies on. And you think they not finna break in your house? Yeah, they finna break in that house, babe. <laughs> they cold finna just break in there. Like, they trying to steal your stuff. That's what they trying to do. I, I seen them. And I waited till they left, right? They left off my porch, right? 
I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking they gone and they didn't mind their little business and, and went on their little merry way. I get back to playing my YouTube video, right? <laughs> I say not even 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes later, all of a sudden I'm just hearing some loud cracks at the back of the house. All I hear is, I'm like, what the freak is that? So I literally, bro, I paused my YouTube video so fast, bro. I go, cause I hear, this is my old house though. Like, oh my God, how this house was set up. Huh? I got an idea, y'all. I know y'all gonna think I'm fried for this, but we gonna do it like this, huh, y'all? Y'all just gotta know the layout so y'all can understand what I'm talking about. And then, um, this is kind of what it was, but it's not really what it is. I had to get y'all a visual, like, of what it was, of my house, bro. Uh, it's the living room, right? I heard noises in the back of the house. This is the back of the house right here. So, I'm walking out. Boom, 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 boom. Then, look, y'all. This, I heard it near the third room. And I'm like, what the freak? So, I went in the, the, the third room. This is the window, right? I go and look at the freaking window. Why do I see this dude face all in my window? Like, I'm not kidding you. All I see is this dude face all in my, all in the window, bro. He like this. <laughs> I said, no way. And the other dudes was trying to help him out. I seen them in the back. They all like, no, bro, you gotta, you gotta do it like this, bro. You're not doing it right. How, how am I supposed to do, how am I supposed to do it though? Bro, I got so scared. I couldn't believe they didn't even see me. I could believe that dude didn't even see me. Actually, any of them. Because I literally was looking dead in their face for a good, like, what, 10, 20 seconds. I ran out so fast. This was my immediate thought. I got my phone. I called my grandmother. I don't know why I called her first, but I called my grandmother first. She was just the first one to pop up in my head because my mom was at work. She couldn't do nothing, okay? And I just thought to call my grandmother because I know she was at the house and she ain't had nothing to do. So I was just like, I'm calling my grandmother while I'm getting my keys. I'm like this. Hey, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? looking at me they, they was just looking at me like i was just an idiot like i'm not faking they was just looking at me like yeah you you can't it, it, it ain't nowhere you can go it ain't nothing you can do and it ain't nowhere you can go like that's how they was looking at me i thought i was trapped when i tell you i was so quick to go, get out there i was like oh shoot bro and they just walking i'm like dang wow wow okay by then i 
couldn't even get, I couldn't get out the house. Some dude climbing in the window in my house. Two dudes walking past right when I was finna leave the house. I'm like, it's over. I'm dead. My grandmother is not here. It's just all bad. I'm like, bro, no freaking way. I was just shook. I didn't know what to do. All of a sudden, I'm hearing slow footsteps. <laughs> I'm just hearing slow footsteps. Just. I'm like, no freaking way. I'm peeking out of the corner like an idiot. I thought I was in a Home Alone movie at this point. Because I'm like, no freaking way. One of the dudes is in my house and I'm stuck. I can't do nothing. And I don't know where the other dudes at. They can't be that far. If I get out this house, they might try to grab me up. I don't know what. I didn't know what to do. My grandmother was not there. It was just like, it, it felt like I was in, in a scene of Home Alone, dude. Just minus me with the traps and stuff. Because I was just being stupid, just looking out the corner like a freaking idiot. But, hey, I was seven or eight years old, so what, what did I know, right? I just see this dude just tiptoeing in my house, bro. He looked at me. I was so afraid. I thought it was over. I thought he was going to kill me. I ain't going to fake. I thought he was going literally. I thought I was dead at that point. I said, oh. He didn't see me now. It's over. I'm dead. Like, it, it, <coughs> there's nothing to it. He finna freaking kill me, dude. Like, it was over. Guess what this dude did the friest day ever. He, this is what he do. Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And he left out the side door. What? somewhere i ain't know where he ran off i ain't know where he went and why right after he he ran off here come my grandmother i'm like wow no freaking way you come right after he left i mean extremely after he left wow but what's really getting me is how are you going to apologize after you just broke in my house and was trying to steal stuff in my house now you're sorry like no way you're sorry after breaking in my house and about to steal stuff in my house no way like that stuff was crazy my grandmother came she all hyped up like oh where are you okay where's the hit where's the i'm like they're gone now you literally came a smidge too late you was so close bro they, they, they gone now and she called the police for me. And the cops came. You know, they take forever to get there. Cops come, um, had me make a statement. I think my mom left left out of work early, too. Um, yeah, it was just crazy. Had to make statements, all of that. Boom, 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 boom. I was just so terrified to stay at home by myself. I literally was after that. I, I was so scared. They ain't let me be home alone no more. Of course they didn't. My mom and my grandmother. Oh, no, nah, they ain't let that happen anymore. And honestly, I was scarred by that because I was just like, dang, bro. I was actually so scared. Like, I didn't even want to be like home alone anymore for real for a while. I was just terrified because it was just like, bro, you literally just traumatized me. Like, y'all just traumatized me. And you over here saying you sorry after you just traumatized me really you just traumatized a whole seven-year-old like bro no way you're sorry bro no way you're sorry like stop playing you're not sorry you wasn't sorry when you was doing it like bro let's be for real yeah that stuff was wild that stuff was crazy i was like dang bro that yeah so that was the first story all right the second story it happened when i was older this time and i do remember I, I remember it was in August. This was right before I started my first job and before I started school too. It had to be like early August. I think it was in like August 5th, August 6th or something or August 10th. It was something. It was either August 5th, 
August 6th or August 10th. Don't ask how I remember. And I know it was in 2019. I remember that date so bad. I, I swear, it was the end of the summer pretty much. And I was finna start back school. I was finna be a junior in high school. And I was 16 years old. I was at home alone. This is like the time where I was back to being home alone. This is when we moved from the first house in the first story. So yeah, I was definitely like by myself at the house a lot. Um, but I loved it though, it was the best. So anyways, scratch all that though. And I was at home chilling. Um, Actually, I was at home cleaning. I was at home cleaning the house because um, I just wanted to and I just felt like my mom just, she had a whole bunch of like stuff on her plate around that time. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just ease, you know what I'm saying? Let me just ease the the, the uh, uh problem she got and let me just clean the entire house. I know, right? That's crazy. Would any kid think to do that? No, but I was different and I love my mom. So whatever. So anyways, I was cleaning the house and I had music on, right? I had, it was like, we had this little tower speaker. I still got it though. It's in the other room. I just don't use it. It's like this. I had this tower speaker that was like kind of like in the middle of the living room. I was playing music on there and I was vacuuming. I was getting ready to vacuum and everything. Oh yeah. Key pointer. I was playing Spanish music. I know that sounds really random, but I'm telling you, this is a key pointer though. Trust me, it's, it's key to the story. You gonna see later on. But yeah, I was playing Spanish music. And I was just dancing, jamming. I had the speaker up mad loud. Like, I'm just, you know, getting ready to clean up, getting ready to vacuum the carpet. You know, I had the little, you know, the little sink, uh, 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 carpet thing that you put on the carpet and stuff. Yeah, I was putting some of that on there and I was getting the little, uh, I was getting the vacuum, ready to vacuum the whole, the whole carpet though. Like the living room, my room, the third room, all that. So, Boom, I'm doing that, jamming. Boom, 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 boom. After I vacuumed uh, my two rooms or whatever, then I changed the music. I was like, you know what? I, I'm in a mood for some old school right now. This is a key pointer too. I changed it from the Spanish music to some old school music. Like, what is it like? What? Like some 90s or something? 80s or 90s music? I know it was some old school. So I'm just jamming in the house, just having the time of my life, okay? Having the time of my life, and I'm cleaning, right? Oh, I remember. I forgot. What made me change it, change the uh, Spanish music to old school music was my mom called me when she was on break or something. And she, because she was at work, she was on break and she called me. And we was talking, you know, I, we was talking for a long time. That's another key point too. We was talking on that phone for a long time, a long time. And I don't know, we was just talking about stuff. I forgot what we was talking about, but we was talking about something. Anyways, though, but yeah, we was talking pretty much her whole freaking break, which was like 30 minutes or an hour or something. So, yeah. Then I got off the phone with her, and then that's when I was like, you know what? I'm in a mood for some. Something just kept telling me, change it to some old school. So that's what I did. And I went to my old school playlist, played that. I'm back to cleaning, vacuuming. Now I'm vacuuming the uh, living room right now, right? All of I'm jamming everything. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I just hear this loud bang at my door. It don't sound like a knock from somebody's physical hands it sounded like something metal like this hold on let me see it don't sound it didn't sound like that but let's just imagine it sounded like that like like that kind of like that a little bit i know it was metal it was not nobody's it, it was not fist it was not fist it it wasn't this it was that metal dude and it sound it was so loud too like it was like somebody was just just Bang it like, bow, bow, bow. I'm like, what the frick is this? Because they heard the music already. So they know somebody, huh? I'm like, who is it? All I know is, it's this man. He was just mad, like yelling like, Where's such and such at? Where's such and such at? I'm like, whoa. I'm like, wait. What? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm saying like, uh, what are you?
you talking about this? You got the wrong house. Like, I, I told him, like, hey, um, you got the wrong house. I don't know who that is. You, you got the wrong house. Simple. And he just kept yelling, though. And, oh, yeah, he was at the front door. And the door, it had, like, this little glass. It was like a little decorative glass window in the middle. And um, I could see through it a little bit. Yeah, I could see through it. And he could see me. I could see him. So I looked. I peeked out and I looked. He was not going away. So I peeked out and I looked. It, it looked like this 30-year-old stocky man. And then he had like a a 13, a 12 or a 13-year-old boy with him. It was weird. And he was just like, I know he in there. I know he in there. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. I know he in there. Where is he at, bro? Because he was with my son and all that. And you're not with him with my son. And you're not I'm like, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I kept saying, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, no, nah, bro, because y'all got me dumped, man. Y'all over here and with my son and all that. Don't be with him, man. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all go. Y'all done met the right one this time. Y'all done met the right one this time. I'm like, what the frick? First, he yelling at me. I just started crying. I literally just started crying. <laughs> Dude, I just started crying. Because I'm like, no. No way. Like, this man won't get off my porch. I keep telling him I don't know who he talking about. None of that. It was some, and it was a Spanish name. It was a Spanish name. Let's just say, um, we just gonna say the name was Jose. That's what we gonna say. We gonna say the name was Jose, right? And he was just like, he was like, where Jose at? Where Jose at? I'm like, bro, what? I'm like, I don't know what Jose, what are you talking about? And he like, bro, stop keep playing with me, bro. Where's Jose at? Where's he at? He been with my son and da da da. I'm like, bruh, y'all done met the right one this time. Y'all done met the right one this time. I'm like, bro, what? He like, man, stop lying to me. You know where Jose at. You know. I'm like, bruh, what are you talking about? Why y'all want to fuck with me? I was so, bruh, I got so scared and I was crying because I'm like, no, not again. Not again. And... Bro, I was just terrified. That little 12-year-old boy just staring at me through the freaking window. I'm like, bro, this is your fault. <laughs> this is your fault, bro. And then he was like, it's all right, though. It's all right, though. I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all. I'm like, what? He turned and he was talking to some other person. Oh, yeah. My house had this, like, like this little, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> what shape was that? It had like a window. It had a window right next to the door. Door's right here. Uh, imagine this. This is the door and it's the window. I'm looking through the window. The little window. All I see. I kid you not. I see this dude. He looked like he was probably around like 18, 19 years old. He was definitely young. Walk into my house with a huge freaking shotgun. I said, when I tell you my heart dropped, I said, no way. Am I really finna die right now? I said, I'm finna die. They finna shoot this door up. I'm like, he, he, they finna shoot the freaking door open and they gonna hold me hostage. Might kill me. I don't even know. I might be reliving a freaking scene in the I Spit in Your Grave movies. And if you know, look, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. But I was thinking all type of craziness, bro. When I tell you I cried so bad, I thought I was going to freaking die. When I tell you I called 911 so fast, I went in the freaking basement. I ain't know what to do. I knew I couldn't I couldn't leave the house. I'm like, I can't leave the house this time. No freaking way. This dude, I, I got a whole shotgun. He could literally shoot me, bro. I said, no, we not doing that. And, oh yeah, the dude left my porch. He left my porch too with his, with the, with the little boy. 
while the dude, the, uh, the other dude was walking near me. No, no, what I did was, when I seen that dude walk into my house with a shotgun, I just ran in the basement. And I think he was still on my porch, but he ended up leaving it though. I don't know what happened. No, he ended up leaving. He ended up leaving my porch with the boy, right? And I'm looking out the window just to see him like leaving. And that's when I seen the 18 year old with the shotgun walking to my house. So I ran in the basement. I called 911. I'm crying. When I tell you, I'm crying so bad. I, it was crazy. I was crying so bad, dude. I mean, extremely bad. Extremely bad. Did I call my grandmother? I know I called my grandmother. I just don't remember if I called her after I called 911 or I called her before 911. I think I called her before 911 because I told her it was a man at my door and all that stuff. And she just came flying because my mom was at work. Could call my mom. So she flying over. She's like, oh, I'm on my way. Call 911. I'm like, yes, I will. So I, that, and then I called 911. And I was just crying, crying, crying. I begged the lady. I begged the operator lady to stay on the phone with me. I literally begged her. I begged her to stay on the phone with me. And she stayed on the phone with me. And I was just in the basement. She was like, where are you at? I'm like, I'm in the basement. She was like, that's good. Stay. And then I forgot. I, I was looking. Oh, my God. I was literally like at the bottom of the basement steps. And I was staring at my side door, right? And I was looking at my side door. And my side door, it had another glass. But this glass was not like the glass at the front door where you can't easily break it. This glass on the side door. It looked like you could easily break that boy. And I was just like, bro, if they come to this side door and they break this down, I'm dead. Like, I literally thought I was going to die that day. I'm not faking. I thought that was my last day. I'm so for real. I stay on the phone with the operator, 911 operator. And, and all of a sudden, I heard a knock on my door, the front door. I thought it was the police. And I told the operator that. I said, oh, I think they're here. I think they're here. She was like, okay, you can get off the phone with me now. I was like, all right. So I got off the phone with her. I hung up. I walked upstairs. I'm rushing upstairs thinking it's either it's either a police officer or my grandmother. I, which it, I should have known it wasn't because she would have unlocked the door anyway. But whatever. I, I run up there. I'm thinking it's a police officer, right? Why is it the same dude? Why is it the same dude? It's the same dude, bro. Same 30-year-old that literally was on my porch yelling at me. This time he calmed now. And he was just like, Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry for um scaring you. I didn't mean to scare you like that. What did he say? What? What is up with these people? I'm like, no way. You just hold traumatized me, dude. Like, bro, you had me fearing for my life. I thought today was going to be my last day. I'm like, bro, you mean to tell me I'm going to die before I see junior year of high school? I, I, that's what I was thinking in my head. <laughs> you mean I'm going to die before I graduate high school? Like, you mean I'm going to die, like, before I get rich? Before I get my car, get my first apartment. I'm thinking all this stuff like, bro, you mean to tell me I won't live to be a parent one day? Like, I, you mean to tell me I won't live to be a wife one day? Like, no way. Like, bro, I thought it was over. I thought it was wraps, dude. I said, no freaking way. You, that's how y'all had me. You had me like that, and you sorry? No way! I just want to know where Jose at. Can you please tell me where Jose is at? Shut the fuck up! I said, bro, I don't know who you're talking about. And I'm literally crying and screaming to this man. Like, I don't know what you're talking about! I don't know what you're talking about! Please don't lie to me, please. And then he just stared at me and he knew I was not. He knew I was not lying. And then he then he stopped. He, then he gave up on that. And he was just like, man, I just need to talk to an adult. Like, cause they'll understand where I'm coming from. Like, do like you got like, is your dad around or something? I'm like, 
I don't have a dad. Why? Why was that the first thing I say, bro? Why was the first thing I say in crying? I'm crying and saying it. I don't have a dad. Like what? And he just stared. He like, oh, like, is it any like adult there? Like maybe your mom? And I'm just like, why? Why are you like, bro? Just get off my porch. And I, I think I was just like, can you just please leave? I think I can't say it. I was like, can you please leave? Like, please. And he just kept asking for a dog. And then he was like, all right, um, sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so tired of hearing that bullshit. And then he walked off and left my porch. And while right after that, that's when my grandmother came and that's when the police came. I said, no freaking way. Y'all all came after work. Literally a smidgen right after again. I'm like, wow, dude. My grandmother came with my uncle, my great uncle and my little baby cousin. I'm like, what the freak is going on? Of course, talking to police again statements again um no not statements because they were still there all three of them dudes was still freaking there dude i said why are y'all still here the police officer came to me and he said yeah it was all just a misunderstanding um they just came to the wrong house they just thought that your house was the house that they were looking for because it, it looked similar to 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 the house and guess what i seen the house they were talking about it looked nothing like my house it didn't. It, it didn't look nothing like my house. It actually looked like a dump. I said, no way. You, So you saying, y'all confused this shack to my house? And the house that I was at, that was a nice house. And I missed that house every single day. But it was nice on the outside. It didn't look toe up. It was nice. My house looked nice. It was like this, per first of all, it was a white house. My house was like a grayish, purplish color. How can you get grayish purple mixed up with white what the frick is wrong with you it looked abandoned bro the freaking house looked abandoned dude hold on i forgot another part bro oh my god bro one thing that the uh uh 30 year old kept saying he kept saying like he got a blue van like he got a blue van jose got a blue van where is he at Damn. And he kept saying that. Even when he was calm, he was like, he had a blue van. Like, he kept saying that. My memory was, like, messed up by how traumatized I was at the time. So, when he said that, I'm like, wait, what? When I thought about it, I remember that blue van it was talking about. Because I remember seeing that that blue van was at that bummy white house. That was literally, like, what, four or five houses away from mine's? This is why I said key pointer about the Spanish music. It's because the man he was talking about, he was Hispanic. He was Hispanic. And I know it was like some Hispanic kids down there that lived in that same white bummy house. And it was just bad. Like they, they was just some bad freaking kids. Like they just did anything. Think about this. If I would have kept playing that Spanish music when he knocked on my door. He would have broken in my house and he probably would have killed me. I'm not faking. I probably would have been dead. I'm not faking though. I'm, I'm being for real. I'm so glad something kept telling me to play, switch the music, change the music, like change it to old school. If I didn't change that freaking music to old school, I would have been dead. I'm not faking. That's what happened. Yeah. Like even the freaking people from across the street seeing the dude with the shotgun coming to my house and guess what the police i don't even think they arrested them how did you not arrest them they came to my house with guns and i think the 30 year old had a gun too because remember i said that bamming sounded like metal that had to have been a gun that had to have been a gun that he was bamming on because it was so loud i wish i could like literally reenact how it sound because it was so loud i had the music up super loud i had this tall speaker literally tall speaker so you know it's loud all the way up and it was close near me like because i was in the living room 
very close by the speaker. And I heard that loud bamming. And when I tell you, and I mean, I heard it clear, clear. That dude had a gun too. He probably had a gun too, a handheld gun. So yeah, and that's my two stories on that, on my home invasion stories. I just keep praying that I don't go through a third one because, oh my God. Like, no way I went through two. You know what? I'm just happy and I thank God every day. I, I, I thank God every day that um, in both of those situations that it didn't go a different way, honestly. Um, I'm just happy that they went the way they did because if they went another way, I probably would not be here. And I'm being very serious right now, especially the second time. I probably would not be here. I, I'm serious. So I, I thank God. I thank God every single day for that. Like, cause wow, like that was really scary. And I really could have lost my life or could have been severely injured in the process or just way worse. It could have been anything, honestly. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And um, yeah, y'all. I really pray that y'all be safe. It's just a lot of crazy people in this world. Even if you do stay out the way, trouble will still find you. And yeah, I just pray that y'all stay safe. And I pray that y'all got cameras and, you know, alarm systems and stuff like that. And even like stuff to protect yourself with. If you got you a little gun in your house or you got a bat or something, like, you know, keep, you know, keep that stuff with you. You know, just keep yourself protected because there's a lot of crazies out here. That's the end of my story time, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed my two stories. If you watched to the end, I thank you so, 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 so much. Lord. Oh, not Lord. <laughs> well, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I thank you so, so much. If you stay to the end, you watch the end of this video, I really strongly appreciate it. Strongly appreciate it. And... Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever I drop another video. Yeah. Follow me on my other socials to stay connected with me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.